All right, guys, we are currently on the way to our quaint town in the Cotswolds. At least we think so. So one thing I've noticed is it's a little difficult to maneuver the railways. I can't find like a consistent source to find information about the trains. So hopefully we're on the right train though. This might be bad. We made it to our connection. It's at this weird like 9B platform. We had to go up this lift, run down these stairs. We see our destination on there. It's gonna be there in exactly one hour. I see an ad for only fools and horses. That's hilarious. Once we get to that hotel, it's gonna be so nice. We've been, we stayed at two hostels the past two nights. So finally having a hotel room and it's a breath of relief almost. That room was probably the hottest room I've ever been. I, it was a pool of sweat and I was just laying there the entire night. I didn't get one minute of sleep between 3 and 7 a.m. And then finally between 7 and 10. I was able to fall asleep and like, yo, zoom in on it. A train is here, perfect timing. Oh cool guys, we have made it to our hotel in the Cotswolds. When we first arrived here, he was like, how old are you? And I told him 19, he was like, oh, we only allow people over the age of 25, but I'll let it slide. And I see why, because this place is nice. I've been wearing the same thing for about three days now, so hopefully we can shower. It's like a br like just a breath of fresh air, not being in a public place. I haven't really gotten to look at any footage yet or do much. We have to lock up all of our valuables right when we get there. We literally got here like five minutes ago. It's 3.30 right now. Tomorrow, we're gonna be seeing some of the sights around the Cotswolds. Hopefully we'll be able to see some beautiful scenery. We're in um, Moreton and Marsh right now. After we see the Cotswolds, we'll be off to the Lake District. Guys, it is the first morning in the Cotswolds. It feels good to not be off three hours of sleep. We're gonna be meeting a very special tour guide today. He's gonna take us around the Cotswolds. All right, guys, we are on the way to the, our first viewing of the Cotswolds. We just met with our tour guide for the day. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, YouTube. We met him in a restaurant last night and we told him about what we're doing. He's gonna be showing us around some of the sites of the Cotswolds. We're currently leaving Morton and Marsh and I tried to get in the car from the right side. First time in a car where the steering wheel's on the wrong side. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. It's the right side. Oh, oh, that's true. Yeah. I really like the the town we stayed in. It's called Moreton and Marsh. I asked our tour guide, whose name is Ed. I asked him if this is what a lot of the villages in the Cotswolds are like. I love the townhouses, how they're lined up like that as well. Don't see stuff like that. It's worth saying, actually, most of the sort of buildings in in the Cotswolds are these honey-coloured stone, the limestone. Lots of old cars driving around as well. I've never seen so many vintage vehicles in one place. <laughs> I think some of you may remember, I reacted to a Rick Steves video. I was telling Ed about the Cotswolds, where he walked us through all the sites and places to see. This is getting me very excited. And we're going to uh, the Stone Circle first, right? Is it like a mini Stonehenge, it is, I guess? It's basically the same age as Stonehenge, but it's made out of local stone. Stonehenge, we didn't go to Stonehenge because it was out of the way, which is unfortunate. But a lot of people were like, don't go. It's just a circle of rocks with a bunch of tourists around it. Oh, wow, the speed limit. It's in a circle. What the heck? <laughs> There's some sort of event going on, I think, for vintage vehicles. Oh, that would be and it's, <laughs> so it, many of them. This whole area on the left is a sort of training college for the fire service. Oh, this is just the norm. Vehicles <laughs> riding around all that. All right, guys, we've made it to the King's Men. It's like a little Stonehenge. It's better than Stonehenge. So we read a sign and it says, if you walk around more than once, you'll never count the same amount of stones because some of them are a bit jumbled up and such. What was it, 2500 BC? Basically the same age as Stonehenge only slightly less big and slightly less impressive. I like it though, this is awesome. You always wonder what was the like reasoning for making these circles, but maybe some type of ritual or sacrifice. There's like a thousand dead bodies underneath us right now. It's already quite the view. We don't see stuff like this in the United States, like these rolling hills, and it almost makes me think of like Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit or something. Our hotel was The Hobbit. We had to duck to get in the room. <laughs> he hit his head like three times. It's like they were in the water almost, but I guess it's just the rain. We're at the Whispering Nights from 3800 BC. And look at the, it's just so beautiful out here with the rolling hills. You always wonder like why these things were built. One can only wonder. It's beautiful. It's just spectacular. Kind of wishing I brought a hoodie though now. Guys, the roads here are a bit narrow. I put my seatbelt on very tightly. Or not just narrow, also curvy roads. We made it to Rose, Rosie Slaughter. Lois, Lois Slaughter. Lower. Lower. Lower Slaughter. Lower Slaughter. Someone's getting killed tonight. So guys, the town name Slaughter does not 
directly means slaughter. So we thought we we're going to be murdered when we entered this town, but apparently it's derived from the word slough, which is what? Wetland? Wetland. Yeah. Wetland. So I love how the little river runs directly through it as well, or stream. Got the first sheep sighting. What's that called again? The wheel? Mill? Water mill? Damn. It's very soft. Oh my god. Yo, yo. <laughs> This is beautiful. Oh! It cracked the code. So what type of church is this? I can't even... Oh, okay. Is that what most of them are? So an Anglican church. So they have two different... This is interesting, because usually isn't it just like one walkway up? That's what... be a central aisle, yeah. Yeah, and then what's over there? 1667, that's what... 500? No, not quite 500 years. Nuts. And this is probably one of the newer ones compared to some yeah. of the other churches out here. We've been in a couple pubs already. Will got some Guinness. Was that your first Guinness? It, it was like, it almost tastes like meat to me. <laughs> I was like, what the, are we having? That, that's like a first church we've seen on this whole trip. First church we've actually gone inside. We've entered the manor house without permission. The door was open, so we're gonna ask for forgiveness and not permission. Imagine you're just enjoying a meal in the backyard and some kid walks up with the camera pointed at you. We have made it to the top of this hill overlooking Cheltenham. I mean, this, this view is amazing. I don't even know what to say. It left me speechless at first. See all the rolling hills. It's actually quite flat compared to what we were seeing earlier, but there's a little mount, mountain range in the background. It's just gorgeous. Worcester, yeah. Worcestershire sauce. Is that what it's called? Worcestershire sauce. I watched a video on how that was made. It's kind of nasty. <laughs> they throw all those veggies and things together. The anchovies, I can't see. Yeah, the anchovies. We've got an excellent tour of the Cotswolds so far. Our amazing tour guide, Ed. Videos don't do this justice. You gotta really be here for yourself to see it. I, what are those, I wonder what those, um, so when we were flying in, we saw a bunch of these fields with like the lines through them. You see like right there with the trees in it? That's, that's probably a solar farm. Solar farm. It's a nice view. Compared to the one in Bath, the one in Bath was nice just because of all the buildings, but this one's nice because you see so much more. Enjoy a little lunch up here, which will be really, really, really enjoyable. We have another thing to talk about regarding our picnic, so. We got a sandwich, a bag of chips, or crisps, crisps, yeah, and a large, like a drink for three pounds. It's from Tesco, and that in the United States, that would cost like eight dollars, seven or eight dollars. Three pounds is just insane. Plus the pound to dollar ratio is 120, so that's less than four, four US dollars. We're gonna enjoy this picnic, enjoy the view, and we might walk up there after we eat and check out, because I think it'll be, yeah. Can we see the other side from up there, maybe? Alright guys, we are awaiting a train, a steam train that's coming through here. It comes between Cheltenham and forgot the name of the other place, but it runs, it's like a 30 minute between these two towns in the Cotswolds. So, so the back is called the caboose here too. <laughs> that's called the tender. So what you can the see tender. on the front is the tender and that's got the coal in. Should we give them the little, this, this thing means honk, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yo, get it on them. Oh. Dude, this is so cool. She's waving at me, she's waving. It's gonna stop here? Felt the heat on that one. Coming straight off the, the engine. And this is our first time ever having tea. We wanted to make this video. It's um, two o'clock in the afternoon, so the perfect time. Oh, we might need some napkins. <laughs> <laughs> 